Professor Ed Mariano, welcome uh, from all the way over in, uh, in London, UK. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's nice to join you. It's early here in California. What time is it with you guys now? Um, it's just uh, just half past six. I can just see the light coming through the uh, the windows in the background there. So um, we, <laughs> we just wanted to catch up with you and say we're really excited about having you come and join us uh, for our REUK 21 uh, annual scientific meeting where you're going to be the Bruce Scott lecturer. Um, what are you most looking forward to about REUK 21? Well, it's a, it's a real honor to be the Bruce Scott lecturer for our UK, and I really am I'm so grateful to you and the organizing committee for inviting me and also for putting on such an innovative scientific program. I mean, I think what I'm most excited about, I think, is really hearing some of the experts in the field, some of the people whom uh, I admire, um, you know, the people who are really pioneering uh, new techniques, you know, not just for regional anesthesia, but in general for patient care. Taking good care of our patients is really the goal. And so I'm really looking forward to some of the new sessions and also just trying to trying to get back into the groove of learning again, because I think you know all of us have been so consumed, rightfully so, with fighting the pandemic. Um, but in the end, I mean, our careers you know, still span three decades. And so we have to really invest in ourselves so that way we can take good care of people. A hundred percent. And if you were trying to engage people, colleagues, friends around the world to come and join this meeting, why do you think they should sign up for REUK? Well, I think that REUK really brings the, the best and the brightest um, for all of the experts in our field in one place um, at one time. And so I think that one of the, the best features of REUK, um, especially this year, is that it's coming to all of you from wherever you are. So I think that the, you know, the innovative concept that I see is really trying to bring together speakers um, in a high quality virtual format that actually goes to where you are. So you can access this information from the comfort of your living room, you know, your home office or in between cases um, in a way that we haven't been able to do before. And I realize that for many people um, who are arguably um, maybe maybe over, overdone in terms of virtual meetings. Um, this may not seem like a, a, very, um, a very appealing concept, yeah, but I think that it's important that we move forward. Um, the, con the idea of having faculty record together in a studio yeah, where you can make sure that the, the content is going to be um, available long-term, I think is really attractive. And I think the format of REUK, which I think has always been a yeah, very, very bench to bedside, very, uh, innovative and at the same time applicable to clinical practice, I think makes the content incredibly appealing you know, to, to anyone who's interested in regional anesthesia, uh, point of care ultrasound or perioperative medicine. Absolutely. And that's what we're hoping to achieve and working with our very proactive uh, local organizing committee to try and bring something new, innovative and interesting. And of course, the recordings are available for up to a year afterwards, which is the other great bonus. So just to finish up, Professor Mariano, three questions for you. What's your favorite or your go-to upper limb block? My favorite upper limb block, yeah, I think you have to have two blocks. Yeah, every, <laughs> every anesthetist yeah, who takes care of patients who have upper extremity surgery should have a block for shoulder surgery. So mine is interscaling and then a block for distal upper extremity surgery. And for that, 100% infraclavicular. Okay, excellent. What about lower limb block? For lower limb block, I think you really have to look at arthroplasty as the primary mover, I think, for lower extremity surgery. And for that, I would recommend the adductor canal block or distal femoral triangle block um, in an anatomic speak. And finally, if you had to pick your favorite trunk block of all of the options available, what would you go for? All right, this one's a controversial one, but I'm going to say the one that, that has been um, at the same time championed and also vil vilified okay. um, in recent years, but it's the tap block. So the transversus abdominis plane block, because I believe that you have to teach, you need to teach all of our trainees, all of our anesthetic trainees, um, transferable skills. And I think if you teach them the tap block, then they can convert that to a rectus sheath block. They can also adapt the tap block you know, to either mid axillary tap block or subcostal tap block. And it gives them multiple tools, not just one uh, that they can apply for their patients. And that just means that more patients have more access to regional analgesia. Fantastic, Ed, that was really great. Some really interesting insights. It'd be uh, really interesting to see what the people out there think about your comments. Um, I hope you stay, you stay safe and we look forward to seeing you very soon at REK21. Take care. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.